Um, the new generation is um, moving towards having their uh, industrial data in the palm of their hands. Actually, that's already available. Uh, what we're showing today, all of the uh, predictive analytics, condition-based uh, monitoring, uh, is done within the inside platform of Aviva. Uh, so actually, the connected worker can have it on his cell phone uh, smart device, as you can see on the screenshot here. Uh, before I go into the automated analytics themselves, <clears throat> first let's have a look at the main screen of Aviva Insight. Um, so basically all of the data that you have readily available in your factory, in your plant, in your building, uh, whichever you're monitoring, uh, you can upload it to Insight. So not only does it go into predictive analytics, but it also goes into uh, monitoring and visualizing other types of data. And as you can see, this is as far as I know, the first industrial software solution I've ever seen that actually looks like something that we use continuously on a daily basis, um, like a search engine. And, and really it does behave like that because in the search bar you can actually just look up your tags, you can look up your assets. Um, Omar will be talking about an asset library a little bit th further on. You can also tap into that just using this, this web interface. The rest of the dashboard, if you will, uh, initially will be automatically displayed and built up for you. It sees the directors waving at me. All right, I'll just continue on. <clears throat> oh, that one. Um, so initially it'll build its own dashboard. What we're looking here is uh, the news feed on the right side. The news feed will feature um, a number of items. One of them will be automated analytics. So what does this do? Um, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see that there's two, uh, two mentions here. The first one, nothing really happening, it's just green, green lines, green dots, everything is in check. And at the second one, you can see that the anomaly detection has detected something that is out of spec, out of the norm. You don't have to do anything to create these news feeds as a user. You just point the software to a certain set of data and the software itself will look at the normal behavior and it will notify you when something is out of the normal behavior, when something is out of check. Um, it might be that the software sometimes gives you something that you don't really find interesting at that point in time. So you can train your newsfeed into showing you what you would like to see. So there's a thumbs up for interesting information and there's a thumbs down for things that you don't find interesting at this time. And that kind of trains the newsfeed into showing you what you need to see. So really there's nothing more to it for the automated analytics. If you want to have a little bit more grip on the alerts that you're going to receive, we can have a look at condition-based rules. So you're gonna go into your performance line, and this type, in this case, it's a, it's a bottling line. Um, we have five variables defined, and there's two of these variables that you would like to have an alert on. So we're just gonna show you, run you through how to make one of those, one of those alerts. We have all of the five variables. I only need two, so the ones that I don't need, I'll just delete from this screen, and I'm going to define that um, if I have a performance level that's less than 85%, there we go, I want to have an alert, and if my downtime exceeds 10%, there we go, I want to be notified as well. Taking one to the next screen, and then we're going to define some of the other um, actions that we want the software to take. So it's going to send me a notification. If you're hooked into the, uh, to the other Aviva suite solutions, you can initiate a safety firm. Um, and also you can generate a work order request for your EAM or CMMS system. There's some other actions that you can define that we're just going to skip for now. Uh, what we want to show you with this is that it's really just a matter of a few intuitive clicks. You're going to be familiar with the tags that you're working with because they're your tags, they're your data. Um, and the only thing you need to do is simply define at which thresholds you would like to have uh, a notification and work orders um, generated. And there we have it, already to define it, simple matter of clicks. So before I hand it over to Omar, um, very small recap, automated, no user involvement whatsoever, um, autom automatically generated newsfeed. If you want a little bit more control over it, just a few clicks away and you have your condition-based rules.